I'm excited. I'm excited for this guy. I mean, maybe it was time for a change. I don't know. But I do know this. It's time for TJ to start winning. There's a new sheriff in town at Thomas Jefferson. No secret, the football program has been struggling these last few years. And I don't know what it is. I mean, I've got my own personal views on it. I don't know what it is, but it needs something. The Yellow Jackets have nowhere to go. The Yellow Jackets haven't broken through with a winning record in years. Thomas Jefferson, here on offense, has scored just eight wins in the last five seasons. Exit head coach Mark Puev and enter Brent Anderson. Set, hit. I really feel like uh, there's a lot of talent, a lot of positive, um, there's a lot of athletes on this side of town that can be more successful than they were. The 36-year-old and former assistant at Iowa Western doesn't buy into the feeling that some fans share that you can't win at TJ. I don't buy into that at all. There's a lot of uh, communities and schools in the country that are similar to TJ that are very successful. It's just a matter of doing it the right way, setting it up the right way, and, uh, and building up for it and setting expectations. When I first got here, I saw that there was a lot more talent than I thought there was. There, the things, they were a lot closer than I thought they were. It's a lot more mental than it is physical. When you have lost a lot of games, it's easy to get to a point in the game where your feeling is like, here we go again. Uh, you, you don't know how to win. Go! The number one thing is just to change the culture of that what we do in the off season really matters and that we build a team by working together. We don't just show up and practice together in August and put on uniforms and, and call ourselves a team. And we haven't done anything to build a team leading up to that. You can't build a team in a few weeks, it takes months. The reception of the players has been, been awesome so far. First day that we had lifting in March after the winter sports rover, we had 65 kids in the weight room. Uh, we had about 20 kids from Wilson come up after school and lift uh, that are gonna be freshmen this next year. And um, that was huge. Why wouldn't you take him and knock him into that tire over there? That's what football is. We want to become a real blue collar team, a hard working team, a physical team. We want teams to leave Council Bluffs feeling that whether they're going home and they won or they're going home and they lost, feeling that they were in a very physical football team and they respect the team that they just played against. Wins and losses are, are obviously that's why you're playing. You're playing to win and lose, but there's a lot of other stuff going on. But there's a whole lot of ways to be successful and you might have lost on the scoreboard. A whole lot of ways to be unsuccessful through the course of the game and you might have still won. So we're gonna set team goals and achieve those goals. And if we achieve a majority of those goals, that's gonna lead to majority of wins. Thomas Jefferson and its new coach will kick off a new era on a new field. Work on CB Stadium has begun to replace the grass with synthetic turf. The new surface and surrounding track is slated for completion in time for the Yellow Jackets season opener against St. Albert on August 28th. New coach, new field, new attitude at TJ. The Yellow Jackets are ready to fly. It's been a long time coming.